Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How, how are you? Are you fine? Yes. And a little tired. A little tired. It's all right. Remember, today is Tuesday. And tomorrow, Wednesday, we almost finished this course. Two more classes, by the way. And then... Let me just check. Okay. Um, and then we're going to finish with this course. Let me go ahead and double check if the class is being recorded. Yes, perfect. Now, yesterday we were studying a specific topic. Do you remember what the topic was? Was and where? Was and where? And we were also uh, practicing the use of yes, no questions. Okay, using yes, no questions, using was and where. I'm going to type it here on the uh, chat. Okay, on Zoom's chat. Yes, no questions, using was. And where? And by the way, what is the contraction of was in negative form? Wasn't. Wasn't. Excellent. And what's the contraction of where in negative form? Weren't. Weren't. Okay. Awesome. Now, what we're going to do first, you are going to ask and answer just no question using was and where. Before moving forward, I want you to um, turn your cameras on, okay? If your camera is not on, please turn it, turn it on because that is one of the requirements. Remember that if you want to participate, always raise your hand. And if you are not using the microphone, please turn it off, okay? So those, those are the instructions before moving forward. Now, um, I want you to ask and answer just no questions using was and where. Then we're going to move to the, um, the use of WH words using was and where, okay? Um, I'm going to start with Gabriel. Gabriel, select one of your classmates and ask a just no question. Using was and where. Uh huh. Okay. Um, Marcos. Yeah. Present. Did you uh, was work today? Um, no. That sentence is incorrect. You said, do you was work today? Mm. Can you please translate it to Spanish? ¿Cómo estuviste trabajando ahora? Mm. Okay. The idea is great. However, we're not we're not working with past continuous. We are just uh, using the use of was and where. Did we don't use did with was and where? Was and where is always to talk about in the past. Oh. However, is something totally different. For example, you can say where Marcos, where you. Were you at work today? Were you at work today? What would be your answer? Were you are, are at no. work today? Yes, Marcos, if I ask you, were you at work today? 
What would be your answer? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. That's it. Just no questions, you know, you don't give more information. No das más información. You just say, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Okay, okay. okay. Cool. Now, remember was and where, what it means is ser o estar. Es lo único. Okay, ser o estar. Estuviste o sos. So feliz. Okay, estás triste. Ok. Estuviste en casa. Fuiste docente. Eso es todo. Eso es, eso es lo único, la única traducción que tiene. Ser o estar. Pero en el pasado. Y es lo mismo en el presente. Usted dice I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, they are. Lo mismo, ser, ser o estar, pero en el presente. Y ahorita estamos usando el ser o estar, pero en el pasado. Es todo. No tiene ningún otro significado. Ok. Uh, if I ask you, Gabriel, was your mother happy yesterday? What would be your answer? Yes, she was. Excellent. ¿Estuvo feliz tu mamá ayer? Sí lo estuvo. Eso es lo que dijiste. Sí lo estuvo. Ok. ¿Sí? Cero estar. Estuvo. Ok. Cool. If I ask you, Liliana, um, were you at the gym today in the morning? Were no, you I wasn't. At the... No, I wasn't. Excellent. That's it. That's all about it. Okay. Now, one more time, Gabriel, select somebody else and ask a question after giving you the examples. Okay. And Berosli. Berosli, yes. Were a gym today? Yeah, were you were, were you, you at gym today? At the gym today. Subject plus was or where plus let's see. I was no at home I okay was. plus complement uh, plus a uh, let's see past time expression past time expressions okay that's the structure subject plus complement plus ta past time expression for example i was at home today in the morning okay i was at the restaurant yesterday night. Okay. Okay. Uh, one more time, Gabriel. Okay. Were you at gym at the gym today? Mm hmm. No, I wasn't. No, no, I wasn't. Today. Thank you. Okay, but also select one of your classmates. But Oh, Nelson. Nelson. Are you here, Nelson? Okay, you can select somebody else. Um, moment. Carlos Guerrero. Oh, sorry, dice que oyente. Okay. Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Pérez. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, good evening, classmen. Good evening. Um, 
you you was no 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 espere espere dicho tengo que hacer la pregunta el was and where is at the beginning ah um, was you was you go to was you okay what Antes de que continuemos. The... Antes que continuemos, revisen las okay. imágenes que le mandé. Porque no las están completando correctamente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Para hacer una pregunta, uh -huh. el auxiliar. Uh -huh. No, ayer las mandé las fotos. Para hacer una pregunta, uh -huh. los auxiliares, what's uh -huh. and where, esos van al inicio de una oración. Uh -huh. Para, Teacher, for para, example, dar, como lo... para, example. para dar una, una oración mm -hmm. afirmativa, el was and where va después del sujeto. Pero para una pregunta, el was and where va al inicio. Eso lo, revi lo, lo revisamos ayer. ¿Sí o no? Sí. Yes. 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 Bye. Ahora eh, lo estamos poniendo en práctica, así que revisemos las imágenes, por favor. La mandó al WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí. Let's see. Eh, Nelson, are you here? No. Es oyente, dice. Ah, oyente. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Jose aquí, Riberto, aquí tiene... were you busy yesterday night? Um, yes, yes, I was. Okay, was your father an English student? Um, no, no, he wasn't. Okay, do you have brothers? Um, no, no, he wasn't. <laughs> no, do you have brothers? Le estoy cambiando la, las oraciones para ver si es que me entiende. Sí. Ok, do you have brothers? Uh, yes, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, I was. Oh, ponga, ponga atención a la oración. Do you have do you have brothers? Do you have brother? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I yes I yes I did. Yes I do. Ah, yes I do. Entonces, yes. usted siempre va a responder según la estructura que le están preguntando, según el tiempo. Y eso es lo bonito yes. del inglés cuando usted ya lo maneja de pe a pa. Sí. Porque usted se puede mover del pasado a, fu a futuro, del futuro al presente y se puede ir hacia atrás al, al pasado y mezclar las oraciones. Eh, okay. la, vez, la vez pasada estaba viendo eh, las oraciones, logré contar un aproximado de... Las más comunes son 16. Entre 16 a 36 oraciones en inglés. Las que usted debe saber. Bueno, las que nosotros como docentes debemos de, de saber. Porque algunas, en algunas instituciones no se las enseña. Porque su carrera no, o sea, ustedes no están estudiando para ser docente. Sin embargo, nosotros en la universidad sí la vimos. Y estaba haciendo cuenta que son como 36, 36 oraciones. Y es bien bonito cuando usted ya maneja las oraciones. Y sí. como les dije al principio, eh, yo fui do, eh, estudiante también. Entonces, estamos empezando con lo básico. Estas estructuras son tan básicas que usted tiene que eh, manejarlas sí o sí. Entonces, mi idea es explicarlas, las explicamos y luego las practicamos. Pero quiero que se concentren, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. So, do you have brothers? Yes, I do. Excellent. How many brothers do you have? 
how many brothers do you have? Um, how many? Ah, uh, I, I, uh, I have two brother. Two brothers. Uh, yeah. were were your brothers students at the university? Um, my brother a student in the university El, El Salvador. Okay, listen to the question. Were your brothers students at the university? Um, a student in the university El Salvador. Uh uh, no. Uh, Gabriel, do you have sisters? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. How I many do. sisters do you have? I have four sisters. Four sisters. Were your <laughs> sisters students at the university? Uh, yes, she was. Uh, uh, están haciendo una sola mezcla. Y no podemos pasarnos al siguiente tema hasta que dominemos uno. Te, repeat the, the question. Were your sisters students at the university? Yes, where? Uh -uh. Yes, where they? Yes, no. where? Uh -uh. Yes, you sister. Um, yes, she was. Al que me dé la respuesta correcta, yo le voy a dar un aplauso. Ok. Pregunta para todos. Were your sisters students as, at the university? Sí. No, she was. Ok, José Alejandro. Yes, she was. No. Es que, yes. es que, es que, es que, bueno. Ok, yes. levantemos la yes, mano primero, were. por favor. Yes, they were. Ok. Uh, José Alejandro, primero. No. Yes. Sí. Uh, no, she doesn't. No. Okay, next. Uh, okay, Jenny Lisset. Jenny Lisset Escobar. Perosli. Yes, they were. Thank you. An applause for Berosli. Excellent. Great. Were your sisters students at the university? Yes, they were. Negative? No, they ¿Quién weren't. Tiene a ti? No, they weren't. Exactly. No, they weren't. Okay. Thank you. Now, Heriberto, select one of your classmates. Thank you, Aureli. No, they weren't. Milena. Mm -hmm. Where you were, where you were today? One more time. Milena, um, where you were today? No, no está completando la oración. Okay, to ask questions, you have was and where. Yes, plus where? subject. Let's see. Plus complement, plus past time expression. Uh, where you work? Today or yesterday? Were you at were you at work today or yesterday?
Arely. Liliana. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I was. Thank you. Arely, select one of your classmates. Look at the structure. Was and where plus subject plus complement past time expression. And don't forget the question mark. Miriam, was your brother angry today in the morning? No, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Thank you. Excellent. Edwin, were you a millionaire two years ago? Edwin? No, I wasn't. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know because we need to take advantage of the time. We need to complete some exercises. And once you can see, just let me know, please. I think is, by the way, can you see it now or not yet? Berosli, read the knowledge check. Can you see it or not yet? Yes. I, yes. yes. Now. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the correct from. From. Form, form. form. Uh, the correct of, form from of the verb of, of the of the verb was where was and where to complete the conversation. To complete the conversation. Okay, let's see. Uh, Gabriel, complete the first one. Okay, my family and I. My family and I were all born in South Korea. Okay, excellent. Okay. Continue, Berosli. Uh, we wasn't born in the USA. Don't invent. No, sorry, I'm sorry. What, where, we weren't born born of the USA. We weren't. Sorry. It's okay. We weren't born in the USA. Eh, recuerden, was solo es para I, he, she, it. Nada yes. más. Okay. Continue, uh, Marcos. I was in Sweden. I wasn't born in the city of Incheon. No sé cómo se dice eso. Mm -hmm. Incheon, and my brother was born there too. I was positive. I was. Continue, Nelson. Liliana, thank you. Creo que no son está de oyente. My parents weren't born in in Shom. Thank you. Weren't. Okay. Um. Let's see. I want to select somebody else. Uh, uh, Amalia, go ahead. They was born in the capital Seoul. Okay, ¿qué acabamos de decir del was? Where. 
I I did. What is yours did. for I where where I dijimos vaya quiero que anoten they dijimos were. que was solo va a ser para I he she and, and it. it nada más it ok si usted me dice they was uh -uh. Mm. ah es que they uh, they were Okay. They were Thank born you. in the capital so. Es que in, the, ellos... in the capital so. In the capital so. Okay. Eh, Alexandra, go ahead, please. Erika? Erika? In South Aha. Korea, my father were a businessman. ¿Qué acabamos de decir? Was I, he, she, it. Father, he. Was. Was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ok, ¿en qué nos equivocamos? We weren't born in the USA. Vamos a ver. Teacher. El apóstol. Uh -huh. Sí, va. Eso estaba viendo. La comita, va. Yes. Yes. Ajá, yo dije, ¿qué? <laughs> y yo sabía que no me había equivocado. Ok. Excellent. Now, let's continue. And it says, I'm going to read the, the objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past to be. Additionally, you will also learn how to express year. Okay, let's listen to the video. I think it's loading. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906, 1917, 1999, 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. 
let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where? Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, guys, uh, let's continue. Just give me some seconds. Okay, can you see my computer's screen or not yet? Yeah, yeah. teacher, please see. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, there you have a, a structure. We're going to move to WH words using the uh, Teacher, no me escucha. No se escucha. Okay. So we're going to see WH words with the past of B. Are you able to listen to? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. If you see, we have who. What's the meaning of who in Spanish? Quien. Quien. What's the meaning of Quien. what? Que. Que. What does Quien. when mean? Cuando. 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 What's the meaning of where? Donde. What's the meaning of why? Por qué. Por, por, por qué. What's the meaning of how? Common. 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 Okay. If you see, we use was with I, where with you, was with he, she, and it. And we use where with you, we and they. And don't forget that question mark. And also pastime expressions like yesterday. Today in the morning, two days ago, okay, etc. So let me ask the question to Marcos. Um, 
How were you yesterday? How were you yesterday? Were you happy? Were you busy? Were you angry? How were you yesterday? I was. Uh huh. In. Oh, stressful. I was stressful. Excellent. Vaya, con estas preguntas, WH questions, you need to give extra information. Con estas no solo dicen, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Con esto usted necesita dar información adicional, por eso se llama information questions. How were you yesterday? Si escucharon, la respuesta no fue, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Él dijo, I was stressful yesterday. Estuve estresado el día de ayer. Eso es lo que me dijo. ¿Clear? Clear. Ok. Gabriel. Where was your sister today in the morning? Where was your sister today in the morning? Or where was she? She was today in the morning. Uh -huh. She was at the she, at the work or at the job. She was at work. She was at work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. When were you in your father in your father's house? Amalia, when were you in your father's house? I I was mm -hmm. my father now. Mm, do you have father? No. no. No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Do you have sister? Uh, yes. Yes. I... Okay. When were you at your sister's house? Uh, I. I she. I she. No. Is, I was. Mm hmm. At the work. No. Work. When were you at your sister's ah. house? Mm. Where were you at your sister's house? I was. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Okay. Mm. Me perdí, Tisha. Uh -huh. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see. Jenny Lisset. When were you at your sister's house? Gabriel, when were you at your, at your brother's house? I was at the brother's house uh, this the Sunday. I was at my brother's house on Sunday. I was at the at my brother's house on Sunday. On Sunday, okay. Areli. Uh, yes. Why were you happy on Saturday? Um, yes, yes, she was in Saturday. Don't, don't invent. <laughs> Nothing, no. <laughs> okay, me entendió que le pregunté. 
empecemos por eso. Que si estaba feliz, que si estaba feliz el, el ayer o hoy en la tarde, ¿cómo? No. Why were you happy on Saturday? ¿Qué significa why? ¿Por qué? Ajá. Ah, ¿por qué estaba feliz? <risa> el sábado, ajá. Why were ah, you happy on Saturday? Ah, um, uh -huh. I was Ajá. the weekend. <risa> ah. uh, I was I was happy in uh -huh. the weekend. On Saturday, ajá. Todo. Why? <risa> Why? 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 I was on the weekend in no work. <laughs> ah, you were happy on Saturday because you didn't work. Excellent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Heriberto, why, why were you happy yesterday? Um, I was happy. Uh, I was happy no work. Because I was happy, I was I was happy yesterday because, because I because I not work. I didn't work. I didn't work. I didn't work. Okay. Do me, teacher. It's okay. Yesenia Guadalupe, why were you busy today in the morning? Marcos, why were you busy today in the morning? I was busy. 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 ¿Qué significa busy? Por ahí empecemos para ver si entiende la oración. Visitar. Don't invent. Eh, comprar. No. Ocupado. Ocupado. No. Ocupado. Ocupado. Ajá. Okay. Why okay. were you busy? Bis. Comprar, uh, hicieron unos ahí. O sea, yo, han escuchado yo, Easy Buy. Yo, ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero es busy. Uh -huh. Ok. Why? Why were you busy today in the morning? I was um, in driving in the morning. I was busy because I I was driving in the morning. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Liliana, how was yours, your brother yesterday? Was he happy? Was he busy? Was he angry? How was your brother? How was your brother? And... She was no, sorry. He was ah, uh -huh. busy, busy, busy because uh, because he worked. Because he worked. Excellent. Okay. Now let's continue. I want to show you some sentences related to was and where. Okay. Uh, read the first one, Marcos. Where were you? I was with my friends from high school. Question for you, Marcos. Where were you? Um... I was with my mother in the supermarket. I was with my, my mother in the supermarket. But read it, by, by mm -hmm. reading the information, I was with my friends from high school. Liliana, mm -hmm. who were you? Who? Mm -hmm. Who were you? Mm -hmm. 
Solo va a leer la oración. I was the former vice president of the country. I'm sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. I was the former vice president of the country. Thank you. Jose Heriberto, what was it? Okay, there was uh, something wrong with the engine. 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 Uh-huh. Areli, why were you so talkative? I don't know. I was probably bored. Bored. Thank you. But Osley, who was that guy? He was... My former boss. Boss. Excellent. Easy. No, easy. Yeah. Difficult. Is that difficult? That's piece of cake. A lot. A lot. No, okay. that's easy. We just need to practice. Don't worry. Don't worry, be happy. Okay, uh, I think that we have enough time to practice. We're going to continue the knowledge check. Knowledge check. It says, knowledge check, select the best answer to the question. I need volunteers. The first one who says, me teacher. Uh-huh. Gabriel, thank you. Where, Where were you born? born? Mm -hmm. I. Show me the options. Where were you born? Uh huh. Um, Where were you born? In, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send those questions to the chat because we are going to use those questions after this activity. There is the first one. Let me see. Where were you born? That's the first question. Uh, continue, but Yes. Yeah. Where grown up where did you grow up donde where did you, you grow donde creciste uh -huh. verdad yeah um i i grew up in tokyo i grew up i grew up I in tokyo get, oh, i grew i grew up in tokyo okay Gabriel, continue with the next question. Okay. How was your first day of school? And it was a little scary. It was a little scary. Thank you. Uh, continue. Liliana. Who was your first friend in a school? One more time. Who was your first friend in school? Mm -hmm. And her name was Yumiko. Okay. Thank you. Continue, Amalia. Okay. What what be she like? I was a little scary. No. What was she what like? Was or she he like? He like. Option. Como era? Friendly. And uh, she was friendly, friendly. She was friendly. 
Thank you. Next one, Edwin. What did you take I... in class? Medium. Why did you take this class? Mm -hmm. I wanted to improve my English. Excellent. Let's check the the answers. Great. 25 out of 25. That was great. Now, let's continue. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions. Let's watch to the video. I think it's loading. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Weren't. I think it's loading. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. Mm -hmm. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Now, let me go ahead and stop sharing because this is your opportunity to start asking and answering questions. Now, let's see. Um, Gabriel, select one of your classmates, please. Okay, Miriam. Miriam? Hello, teacher. Uh, repeat, please. Teacher, I don't listen. Well, she is asking you to repeat the question. Uh, what question? 
you need to ask her a question using the uh, I mean wasn't where or did I sent you some examples. Les envío unos ejemplos. Acabamos de completar el ejercicio. Dice, where were you born? Where do you grow up? How was your first day at school? Who was your first friend in school? What was he or she like? Why do you take this class? Esos son solo ejemplos. Pueden hacer una de esas preguntas o pueden formular las preguntas de ustedes. Ok. Mm -hmm. eh, Miriam, eh, who was eh, your best friend at the school? Excellent question. Who was your best friend at the school? My best friend at the school was Juan Carlos. How about yourself? My best friend at the school is Lucy. was my best friend at the school, school was Lucy. Okay, Miriam, select one classmate, ask a question, please. Bet Osley. Hello. Uh huh. Hello. Where? Where were you? Um. Tom? One more where time. Where were you? I I don't listen, Miriam. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. Where were you at? Uh, at home? No. Traducí esa oración y te vas a dar cuenta de lo que estás preguntando. Traducila. ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde estabas en tu casa? ¿Dónde estabas en tu casa? En la casa. <laughs> ok, you can say. Where were you yesterday? Where were you uh, today in the morning? Where Por... were you last weekend? Ah, y si tiene sentido, mire. Where were you last weekend? I was uh -huh. last weekend in the foreign house. In my parents' house. Excellent, Berosli. Yeah. Thank you, Miriam. Berosli, select one classmate. Alejandro. Uh -huh. Jose Alejandro. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Nah. No. Está. Fíjense que le, le voy a dar una clave así rapidita. Mi especialidad cuando yo estoy en la universidad. Hello, ¿qué tal? Good morning, good afternoon. Good night. Aquí estoy, good evening. Good evening. Lo siento, tengo el inter se va, aunque el teacher se molesta. Sammy. No me estés acusando porque no me molesto. Solo les hago sugerencia. Vaya. Vaya. Um, le voy, a dar un, le voy a dar un consejo, ¿sí? Vaya. Un tip. Yes. Cuando yo estudié en la universidad, yo saqué la especialidad en traducción e interpretación. Traducíamos oh. documentos de inglés a español, de español a inglés. Yo quiero aprender eso. Entonces, lo primero que te dicen es que analices la oración, el párrafo o lo que vas a decir. Si tienen sentido en, en el idioma que lo, que, lo, que lo estás diciendo. Entonces, si hay una oración, por eso le hice la, la consulta a Miriam. Miriam, um, traducir la, la oración para ver si la oración tiene sentido o no. Entonces, eso es lo que usted primero tiene que hacerse, esa pregunta en su cabecita, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Tiene sentido lo que estoy diciendo? 
¿sí? Si tiene sentido en el idioma, digamos que usted está diciendo algo en inglés. Y con eso no le estoy diciendo que se pongan a traducir todo. Solo cuando tengan duda. Ustedes hagan esa pregunta y digan, ¿tiene sentido lo que estoy diciendo? Y viene usted, como está diciendo algo en inglés, lo traduce al español. Va y dice, no, esto no tiene sentido. Entonces viene y lo cambia y busca la forma como expresarlo. Y de esa forma es como va a ir usted tratando de expresarse correctamente. Lo mismo pasa en español. A veces traducíamos documentos de español a inglés. Y cuando empezábamos a traducir de español a inglés, para mí es más fácil traducir de, de español a inglés que de inglés a español. Imagínense qué, qué tedioso. Aunque, aunque el español es mi, mi, mi lengua natal, se puede decir, castellano. Pero para mí es más fácil traducir de, de español al inglés que del inglés al español. Porque tenés que buscarle sentido lo, a lo que vas a decir. Y lo mismo pasaba cuando yo estaba traduciendo de español a inglés, decía, mm, pero tiene sentido, mm, no tiene sentido. Y entonces, y así es como uno va avanzando. Tiene que hacerse preguntas. Ok, eh, let's see. Verosli, ask the question to Alejandro. Alejandro. Yes. Who was, who was your who was? first teacher? Who was your first teacher at the school? Ah, well, my first teacher is um, Nelson. Mandela. <laughs> okay. Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Thank That's cool. you. Okay. Alejandro, select one classmate. What? Select one ah, classmate okay. and ask a question. Well, um, I chose... Uh, Alexandra I, Giselle. I choose. I choose. choose. I choose Alexandra Giselle. Eh, una pregunta, ¿verdad? De cualquier cosa. Uh -huh. Where are your first wifer? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Who? Who was your first boyfriend? Ah, who was your your first boyfriend? Uh -huh. Nelson. Who was <laughs> Nelson? What? <laughs> no, Nelson is just listening. Uh, ¿Por qué le are you here, Giselle? Okay. Alexander Giselle. Oh, Alexandra, are you here? Ask the question to Amalia. Amalia, do you remember your first boyfriend? Amalia, do you remember? Oh. Who was no, your, my your first boyfriend? Ah, va a decir que ya no se acuerda. I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm not. <laughs> no. I don't I remember. Don't Pregunta, ask question muy, <laughs> very, Perso very... <laughs> pers personal <laughs> question. Okay, yes, Gabriel. Personal question. Who was your, uh, the... your first girlfriend? Listen, my husband. <laughs> ah, <I> <laughs> uh, your husband is going husband. to listen to you. <laughs> okay, Gabriel, <laughs> who was your best, your first girlfriend? Yes, she was a, a, a classmate, the classmate at the school. And what was her <coughs> name? A, oh. Her name was, I forget. You forgot it. Okay. <laughs> my first girlfriend was Jenny. And that, that was Where my first girlfriend at a school when I was... Uh, 13 years old. Bye, uh -huh. mi esposa está aquí a la par y no me va a pegar tampoco. <laughs> oh. I'm not hungry. <laughs> she's, not, sure? she's not angry. <laughs> Vaya, este, 
nos vamos a quedar hasta acá porque ya nos pasamos. Ya nos pasamos. Entonces, solo nos quedan dos clases más. Terminamos el curso. Por favor, metámosle a la plataforma. Si ya la terminaron, perfecto. Y tenemos dos clases más para seguir practicando. No les quito más su tiempo. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye and good night. 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 Good